Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to take you guys along with us for ministry. So a few of you guys have been asking in the comments, what do you do after you finish the discipleship? So we are two weeks um, past finishing our discipleship. And I will put a link up here for the graduation video from Operation Christmas Child. But today we want to show you guys how we continue with the kids after we have completed the workbooks because ministry doesn't stop there. All packed up and ready to go. Projector, donuts, all the things. And my brother-in-law actually loaned us his car. Our car is getting an oil change and um, I think a fan belt replaced. I don't even remember, but. So we are headed to ministry. We're gonna pick up Landy on the way. And today is going to be a fun day. Um, like I said, it's about two weeks after we finished OCC Operation Christmas Child Workbooks. And so we are continuing ministry, but we're going to show you guys what that looks like after we do the workbooks. We're doing a quick clean before kids get here. I'm going to get our new coffee carafe washed. And we're sweeping and mopping, lots to do. Today we're teaching on the lost sheep and Andres is getting the projector and video ready. In this room we've got our video viewing. Over here we've got, over here we've got snack going. This is where we're gonna do our memory verse. Today we have a memory verse activity. And I feel like every week we get a little bit more organized. So these are the, we've got, we've got the girls playing over here before church, but I feel like every week we get a little bit more organized. So we finished the Operation Christmas Child booklets. Like I said, the kids can take them home and still finish them and bring them back for their Bible and prize, but those are done. And so in the meantime, we are writing our own curriculum. So today is on the lost sheep, and this is the curriculum for the youngest kids. They don't have to do any writing. And then this is the curriculum for the middle kiddos. They have a little bit of writing, lots of short answer, or lots of multiple choice, and then an activity. This is the memory verse for today. We're talking about John 10, 9. These are the donuts prizes for attendance for our last cycle. Um, and then these are, like I said, the books that they'll take home. And this is the youth activity. And they usually do a little bit of inductive study, so they'll mark some in the passage. They have a little bit more short answer question types. Um, so that's what the youth will do. So they came a little late, but we've got about 10 kiddos. And one of the kids is currently leading the memory verse in repetition. So one of the kiddos is currently the teacher. Yo soy la puerta. Él es el que por mí entraré. Si ve que está entrando, ¿será que? Si es que lo está llevando hacia el cielo, sacándolo del infierno, entrará y saldrá por una puerta y hallará. Ah, si ve que sale como un pastor con una ovejita y toda la gente está aquí lista para estar con el pastor. Porque nosotros somos como ovejitas para Dios, ¿no? Listo. Entonces, ¿cómo está el versículo? Juan 10, 9. Yo soy la puerta, el que por mí entrará. Entraré. Será salvo. Y entrará y saldrá y hallará pasos. Luis is serving snack, and the kids are just finishing up their workbook pages. We've got the older kids over here, the younger ones over there with Landy. Cada semana parece que ya tenemos alguien que cumple sus 12 semanas del cartilla. Y hoy fue Esteban que lo llevó y lo hizo muy bien y gané su Biblia. En una noche lo hizo. Uy, no. Gané su Biblia y su chocolatina por hacerlo. This club ended. We gave the kids donuts. The girls won the donuts this round for best attendance. And now we have the youth. The youth are starting out with soccer. So they're playing soccer right now. And then they'll come in for memory verse, Bible lesson, and snack as well. And one of their soccer teams won the donuts for best attendance. So one of the teams gets donuts this week. While the youth are out playing soccer, I have the memory verse reset. 
Eliana is enjoying a snack of rice cakes, and they're going to be in in just a minute. Okay, the youth came in, and Andres is getting ready to start the memory verse and the Bible lesson. ¿Qué hizo? Coloqué la respuesta correcta. Marqué con una X. Para el people que ganaron por asistencia y memorización de versículos, ¿cierto? Times a few of the youth stick around after to play chess and dominoes, and we are getting things cleaned up. Eliana is helping with the mopping. Oh, this sweet girl. So today we had quite a few first time visitors and they all took home booklets because like I said, we finished this booklet, but they all took home the booklets. And so now we only have 17 unused booklets and each of those kids took it home with the challenge of finishing it and bring it back to earn a Bible and a candy bar because we're giving away candy bars with the Bibles. But we only have 17 left. So from 200-ish, I can't remember exactly how many we had, but from 200 of these books, we only have 17 left. And then we also had six kids bring their um, finished booklet. And so they earned their Bible, their candy bar. And that brings us up to, I believe, 34 kids total. Um, after kids and youth today, we have 34 kids that finished the entire 12 week Bible study with Samaritan's Purse. It's 545. We are officially done for the day. Eliana is playing toss the bottle through the window. Yeah. And we are doing one more final cleanup, mop, sweep. And getting things all ready for the midweek meetings.